Hello, so I, uh, second day in a row of um, working on my field notes. Um, and you've probably watched Rachel's video already, I assume you would have. And um, you'll know that the next prompt is um, spring blooms, spring blooms, I think that's what we called it. Um, or blossoms, blooms, I think it was. Um, so basically, you did bulbs to begin with as your first flower. Um, but for this one, you can pick whatever spring flowers you like. So, um, yeah, maybe think about having more than one flower. It could be a bunch of flowers. Um, I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Um, tonight, I'm actually not going to stitch much because... Uh, yeah, it's getting late already, having come home from training. And um, I've got my idea, and I'm going to show you my idea. And then um, and then I'll have to do some stitching to get it started. But I'm just going to show you my idea. So I have um, some scraps of fabric. I'm just adding that there because I'll probably canther stitch that down. Um, and I have some of this fabric just like pieces of it and I think that these blue and white ginger jars with the gorgeous blooms and that one would be beautiful as well are just stunning so I'm hoping that if I fussy cut this one out like look at look at those blooms how beautiful would that be to embroider but what I'm going to do is fussy cut this one out and then I'm going to stitch it on my page and then the idea is that it's going to be really quite heavily embellished and embroidered so I want to embroider the flowers thread paint them I want to actually embroider a lot of the blue on the ginger jar the blue and white ginger jar with this one I'm actually cutting away the red so I'm cutting right down to the ginger jar but I won't do that the whole way around because that's um, a little bit challenging just gonna do it where the jar is it's kind of a ready pink really isn't it not red it's more pinky Okay, so I'm not going to be able to do it the whole way around. What I will do is I'll just cut away some of the pinky colour. Get my scissors in there. These are the best scissors. These are the, what are they? Karen. Does that say Karen? Can't remember. They've got a little plastic cover. They're quite expensive, but they are the most beautiful scissors to cut with. And you can get them in different sizes. Mum made me this dongly thing. Um, but yeah, these are the best scissors. I got them from um, Beck. So be Beck. I think I might get another pair of bigger ones. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to rough cut it to begin with to get rid of all the other fabric. What you could do, like I've already got all the blooms in this vase. But what I, I was tossing up originally, my idea was that I was going to get lots of flowers and create my own sort of blooms of different fabrics, cut fabrics out. Um, I've done a vase like that before, like a long time ago for a friend. Um, but then I came, as I was searching for florally fabrics with that in my mind, then I came across this and I thought I've been wanting to use this. So let's get rid of the excess. Alright, now before I put on, is it going to fit? Yes, it's going to be really pretty. Okay, so I'm going to keep fussy cutting. 
was having trouble with this side. Wasn't getting it going really, was I? So you are going to see a little bit of the pink. Don't want to cut too close in everywhere because um, your fabrics can fray. And um, by leaving a little bit of a border, it also gives me a space to just um, overcast stitch it down. But I'm trying to cut maybe three, three or so mils, three, four mils from the edge, but not being too pedantic about it. This is a bit awkward, it's flopping all over the place. Okay, what I might do, I might pop off the camera and just finish um, snipping around this and then I'll come back and I'll show you. Okay, I'll be back in a sec. All right, so there we go. Fussy cut out. Um, I'm just going to, that actually fits quite nicely, takes up the whole page. I might be able to stamp a bit of script, you know, around it and, you know, maybe put a label here, whatever. Um, but um, <clears throat> I will simply overcast stitch that down with just a normal white sewing machine cotton. Don't have one to show you, but like this. But Oh, no, here's one. Just with this, I'll go around the edge and just get it stuck down. Um, and then um, I'm going to do stitching on the flowers using probably a variety of threads. Um, and then probably on the ginger jar as well. Okay, so I'm not going to do any stitching tonight. It's getting a bit late. I originally was going to use this beautiful magnolia I got from Rach. Like how pretty would that be just using the vase as your base? You could even cut these vases out because I've got quite a few bits. Like, for example, that one there, the blooms are gone, but you could use the vase and then build up your own blooms. That would look really pretty. Love that magnolia. I might use that somewhere else or even on the back where I want to put some more flowers and things like that. So, yeah, not much to show you tonight, but at least I'm telling you what my idea is. I've, I literally haven't finished any page except my title page, but it'll all come eventually. Um, so I look forward to seeing what your blooms are like. Um, a few ideas I had as well was, um, I'll just tell you a couple more. I was thinking about doing like a cluster of flowers here and having like some little flowers and then script. Um, I was thinking of doing flowers in different sections on the page, like you were sketching out in your field notes journal, some different flowers. Um, what else? Yeah, so making a bloom and then having the stems down. So like a bunch of flowers. Um, they're all the things I was thinking about with spring blooms or spring blossoms or whatever we called it, Rachel will have told you. Okay, but then I found this fabric and I think I'm gonna have fun with some embroidering. I might even do some um, silk ribbon embroidery on some of the flowers as well. I really wanna make this quite heavily embellished. So that's the plan. Should put a bit of lace behind, maybe. Where does that go? I could. Don't know. Have a think. I might play around with it. Anyway, I will have this stitched down and be ready to embellish or um, might have even started embellishing a bit to show you next week. That's, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, so looking forward to seeing what you come up with too. And I'll see you next week when I actually start to make some progress on this. Thanks for watching. Bye.